Hi students, welcome to my channel. In this video, we are going to discuss what are different hash functions used in hashing concept. So there are four techniques or four hash functions. There are four hash functions used to perform insertion, deletion and the search operation into the hash table into the hash table. What are those four techniques? So first one is division method. Second technique is mid square method. Third method is folding or digit folding method next fourth one is multiplication method multiplication method okay these are the main hash functions used in the concept of hashing. So let us start one by one with examples. So first one is division method. Division method. In previous videos we discussed different collision resolution techniques like separate chaining. We have discussed separate chaining and open addressing. So here some hash function is used and here there are uh, three techniques. One is linear probing, another one is quadratic probing and another one is double hashing. So different hash functions we have used. Okay. So the general hash function we have used in all these techniques here is so h of key equal to key module is hash table size key module is hash table size so that is for example for example here i want to insert 12 and assume hash table size as 10 then h of 12 equal to key is 12 module is 10 which is equal to 2. So, what is modulus operator? Modulus operator is used to get reminder. If you divide 12 by 10, 10 twos are generally, here it is, 10 twos are 20, so 10 ones are 10, reminder is 2. So, here this 12 is inserted in second bucket 12 is inserted in second bucket like that in division method the elements are inserted so this is the hash function this is the hash function used in division method okay so now second technique here it is so here it is very simple so the main advantage here it is it is simple simple to get an empty cell but the disadvantage here it is we will get the collisions easily so whenever collision occurs of course collision resolution techniques are there so now second technique is mid square method second hash function is mid square method Made square method. The name itself is specifying we have to square the given number. This is the first step. After that, you consider the middle digits. Consider the middle digits in that the squared. What after squaring we will get some resultant. So we will get some resultant number from that resultant number. Consider the middle digits. So that is here, 
made a square method. Now consider an example. So now for example, the key I want to insert is suppose uh, 60 I want to insert. So I want to find out the bucket number in the hash table. What is the bucket number? So in which cell the key 60 is inserted. So now what is the first step? Step 1 is so square of a number that means key into key we have to find out that means 60 into 60 that equal to 3600. Now what is our step 2? Consider the middle digits. The middle digits in that number here are 16. Middle digits are 6 and 0, 16. So now 16. That means the key 60 is inserted in 60 at the bucket. Assume our hash table size is 100. That is based on uh, the keys present. Okay. So here 60 is inserted in 60th bucket. So like that for example here you got 4 digits. You got four digits, that's why you consider middle two digits. So middle two digits. For example, consider I want to insert an element key equal to, uh, for example, 12 I want to insert. Then what is our step one? Step one is key into key. Key into key that equal to 12 into 12, 144 we will get. Then what is next step? Consider the middle digits. So the middle digits here are. So now here number of digits in the square number is 144. What is the middle digit of 4? So middle digit here it is 4. So 12 is inserted in 4th bucket in the hash table. That is made square method. So next, so after mid square method, next technique here it is. What is the third technique? Folding method or digit folding method. Folding method or digit folding. Folding or Digit folding method. Okay. So now what is this folding method? Digit folding. So now here suppose the key here we are considering. So this key we have to divide. Split or divide. Split or divide the given key into the number of parts. It is divided into Number of parts that is called as number of folds. The number of folds are depending on the length of each fold. How many folds you will get. That is depending on how many digits you are considering in each fold. Okay. That means what does it mean? Consider an example. Suppose I want to insert an element 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. For example, okay. So now here you suppose I am taking fold length equal to 2. That means you have to divide the given number so 2. So how many folds you are getting? 1, 2, 3, 4. 4 folds you are getting. Okay, fold 1, fold 2, fold 3. This is our first step. So split or divide into number of folds into number of folds. Now, second step is add all these folds or sum of these folds. Add the folds. Add the folds. After adding what we have to do? We have to perform so that a sum modulus has table size. This is your step 3. 
So I'm repeating what is what are the steps involved in folding or digit folding method. Step one is split or divide the key into number of folds. After dividing, add the folds. So you will get the sum after adding this. That is sum modulus hash table size. Okay, whatever here the mapping address you will get that is your bucket number and the given key is inserted into the bucket. Consider the same example. Suppose key, key equal to 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. So now I am writing fold 1. Fold 1 equal to 12. Fold 2 equal to 34. Fold 3 equal to 56. Fold 4 equal to 7. That you can say like this also. K1 equal to K2 equal to K3 equal to K4 equal to. Okay. So this is our step 1. Dividing. What is step 2? Add all these folds. Add the folds. Then 12 plus 34 plus 56 plus 7. What is the sum? 12, 34, 56, 7. 4 plus 2, 6. 6 plus 6, 12. 12 plus 7, 19. Okay. 3, 4, 4 plus 5, 9. 9 plus 1, 10. Okay. So now, what is the sum here? 109. Now what is third step? That the sum modulus has table size. H of that key equal to sum. What is the sum here? 109. Modulus. Assume our hash table size equal to some hundred. Okay. So 100. Then what is your reminder? Reminder is 9. So what does it mean? The key is a key. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7 is inserted in the ninth bucket. That is the digit folding method. Next one. What is the next uh, hash function? Multiplication method. Fourth one is multiplication method. Multiplication method. So what are the steps involved to find the bucket number in multiplication method? So here the formula or the hash function used in multiplication method is that means h of key equal to h of key equal to floor of hash table size multiplied with k mod 1 is the hash function. Okay. So now what are all these uh, parameters in this hash function? The parameters here are as you know Floor is nothing but like this. Suppose 12.3. Floor is represented like this. Then you will get a 12. Suppose seed you, you are getting 12.3. You will get 13. This is seed operation. And this is floor operation. Okay. These digits we will consider. Okay. So then we know some hash table size we will consider. Okay. K is the key. And A is some constant the value in between 0 and 1. A value is in between 0 and 1. It's a modulus operator. Okay. So now consider an example. Consider an example. Suppose I want to insert an element. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. So in what is the bucket number? For this key. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. Okay. So, now for this, uh, assume some A equal to in between 0 and 1. You can consider anything. Suppose 0 
फोर टू थ्री सेवन फॉर एग्जाम्पल ओके सो ना एंड हैश टेबल साइज इक्वल टू सम हंड्रेड ओके नाउ वी विल सब्सिट्यूट ऑल दिस इन दिस फॉर्मूला सो नाउ H of one two three four five equal to floor of H size. What is our hash table size? Hundred into K A. K is one two three four five into what is A? Our assumption is A is zero point four two three seven mod one. So that is equal to floor of hundred into. So we have to multiply one two three four five. One two three four five. You can use calculator. One two three four five multiplied with zero point four two three seven. Equal to you 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 can use calculator five two three zero point five seven six five modulus one. So floor of hundred into if you divide this number with one, what is the remainder you will get? The remainder you will get is this fraction part only. Okay, this. Five thousand two hundred and thirty is a five thousand two hundred thirty three. Remainder is this one. So point five seven six five. So floor of hundred into point five seven six five is nothing but fifty seven point six five. Floor of fifty seven point six five is nothing but fifty seven. So the key twelve thousand three hundred and forty five. Is inserted in fifty seventh bucket. Okay, these are different hash functions used in hashing concept. So just see once. So four techniques are used. One is the division method. Second one is mid square method. Third one is folding method. Fourth one is multiplication method. Okay. So in division method, the hash function used is this one. So hash of key equal to key modulus hash table size. Next in mid square method, what is the hash function used? So first square the given number and then find out the middle digits. That is the bucket number. Next folding method is split the number. Next add the floats and then sum of Some modulus hash table size is the bucket number. That is a folding method or digit folding. Next, multiplication method. Floor of hash size into K A mod one. Okay, so like that, these are the four hash functions used in the hashing concept. Hope you understand, students. If you have any doubt, please uh, uh, send me a message in the comment box. Don't forget. If you like the video please share with your friends and subscribe the channel thank you students have a great day bye